back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a daily reading vlog where we've already been to Starbucks as you saw. I plan to make a good amount of progress in my current read and also share my July TBR. I'm currently reading Love on the Brain by Ellie Hazelwood and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm about halfway done so I'm not sure if I'll finish it because that would be reading about 200 pages but we'll see how much progress I make here. Stick around and find out. Okay, so change of plans. Me and my boyfriend are now going book shopping, so I'll let you know if I find anything. All right, so time for an update because I did end up reading about 40 more pages of this as well as finding two used books at the bookstore, which I'm super excited about. I'll get to those in a second. As for Love on the Brain, I'm loving this so much. Like I'm smiling the entire time I'm reading this. It is so good. I love them so much. I already know I love this more than her other book, Love Hypothesis. So yeah. And then as for the two books I got at the bookstore, the first one is The Dead Romantics. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know much about this and I kind of don't want to. I want to go into this blind, so that's what I plan on doing. So sorry you don't get a blurb, but you can look it up <laughs> if you want to know. Then next I got the American Roommate Experiment, which I already have the Spanish Love Deception by this author and I believe this is the second in that series. So I'll definitely be reading that one first. It was actually on my July TBR, which will be coming up soon, but yeah, I'm excited to read this as well. Also, something that is so weird. You know how authors will like write a little something on the front of a cover or the back of a book cover? Well, both of these have them and both of them are from Allie Hazelwood, which I just think is so weird because that's the author of the book I'm currently reading. And I just think that's so weird that they only have one quote from one author and they're both Allie Hazelwood. But I feel like that's a good sign because I'm loving love on the brain, so. Okay, it is now time to talk about my July TBR. So I have six books to talk about physically and a few in my mind on Kindle that I have not purchased yet. So diving right in, we have A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J Mass, and this should come to nobody's surprise because I'm so excited to continue this series. And after A Court of Wings and Ruin, I just really fell more in love with the characters and I wanna start this ASAP. Okay, next we have Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid and i love her i love everything she puts out so i'm really excited to give this a shot although i will say the um tennis aspect of this does scare me just because i'm not sure how intrigued i'll be it's about carrie who is coming out of retirement i believe um because somebody is beating her tennis record but i'm still very intrigued and i'm sure i'll love it okay then we have the spanish love deception by elena armas i think that's how you say her name I have had this sitting on my bookshelf for so long, so I'm so excited to finally pick this up. I really hope I get around to this. I know people have mixed feelings on this, but I'm really excited to see what my opinion is. Also, I feel like this is giving major summer vibes, so I'm excited. Okay, next we have Love and Other Words, and I'm super excited about picking this up because everyone loves it, but I believe it is dual timeline and they're like friends to lovers, like childhood friends. So hopefully I can pick this up sometime this month and absolutely love it. And then we have the first book in this beloved Addicted series called Addicted to You by Krista and Becca Ritchie. I'm sure you've heard all about this. I am so intrigued by this. 
I feel like I've read the back and I wasn't exactly sure of it, but everyone speaks so highly of this and the found family. So I'm really excited to give this a shot. Okay, and then as y'all saw earlier, the last book I have to talk about is The Dead Romantics. I really would just rather read this this month and not have it sit on my shelf collecting dust. So hopefully I can knock this one out. And then a few books I have to talk about that I don't have physically are the Chestnut Spring series by Elsie Silver. I feel like everyone is talking about that. Um, I believe the first book is Flawless and I think it's a cowboy romance. Need I say more? And then the next book that I would like to read in July is Fourth Wing, which everyone is talking about right now. I don't have it physically, so I would have to hunt down to find it but I know that everyone is loving that fantasy. I think it's YA too. I'm sure you've heard all about, about it, so I'm not gonna go on, but I would love to get around to reading them as well. And that is it for my July TBR. Please leave me a comment below letting me know which books are on your July TBR and which ones you're excited to see me read. And then as for a book update, it is 10 till six and I'm on page 316. So I have just over 30 more pages left in this book and I am definitely planning on finishing tonight because it's got my entire attention. So I just finished Love on the Brain and I am here to talk about it and wrap things up. So this book was going so well. I was loving it, as y'all heard me say, more than the love hypothesis. And then the ending happened. The ending happened and I just wasn't a fan. Um, it was going so well. And so I really thought it was gonna get a better rating than the love hypothesis. And I rated that a 4.5, but I'm going to have to give Love on the Brain a 4.25. So still really good, a strong contender. I would recommend this. However, the ending was just not it. Like, I don't understand why we had to go with that route. Like, it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I didn't enjoy it. Oh, and now Charles is gonna leave us. Oh, and Molly has joined us. Anyways, I really love these characters. I loved a specific trope about this. I'm not going to say it just in case it's a spoiler. Are you done? But personally, if somebody told me that this trope was in this book, I honestly probably would have picked up the book sooner just because I love that trope. But still, just in case, I'm not going to disclose that. And I know people have problems with this book and her others because they're too similar and too sciencey. But like, if that's her niche, like, so be it. She does it well. Like, I don't understand why people are such haters when like, you don't have to choose to pick up that book. Obviously, you know it's going to be science-y. It's just not for you. But I loved it. I loved the love hypothesis and I really enjoyed this book. So, like I said, 4.25 stars. I know that's specific. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had a lot of fun filming it. Stay tuned for my next video. Bye guys.